Hi there, it's Jen from ModernMedicineLady.com and the Empathic Woman System, and the word of the day is invisible. And I'm choosing this word because I've been thinking a lot about invisibility and what it means to be invisible and the different ways that we can be invisible. And part of it is because the other day I did that meme that was like the unicorn manifesto. And it was basically, I'm, ta I'm done being ordinary, I'm over settling for broken popsicles, I am ready to take the next bold leap. I deserve the moon and the stars because I am a mother effing unicorn. And I think that for those of us who are highly sensitive and empathic, a lot of us are really mother effing unicorns, that we are different, we are unique. And just like unicorns are not seen by everybody, I think that those of us who are really magical and sensitive and pick up a lot of information that's going on in the world around us, we don't make sense to some people and we are misinterpreted. Some people will say things like, oh, you're overreacting, you've got an overactive imagination, you're just taking it too seriously, don't get so upset by all of that, all that kind of stuff. And from their perspective, because they are not like we are, they're just like, why can't you be ordinary? And the truth is, we can't be ordinary because we are mother effing unicorns. And I was thinking a lot about how in my life there have been times when I have felt invisible like a unicorn, where I feel like people cannot see what I'm bringing to the table and don't recognize what I have to offer. And I think that there is truth. There are places where that is true. But I started to realize that there are other times when it's not necessarily that they can't see me because they can't see me as much as it's that I'm not showing them who I am. And it's a very subtle thing to start understanding the difference between being invisible because you just feel like you're invisible and being invisible because you're choosing to be invisible. There's a lot of power in recognizing when you're invisible and when you're not invisible and deciding deliberately, is this a place where I want people to recognize me? Is this a place where I want to be seen? Or is this a place where I need to be a little bit more mindful? I need to be more conscious about how much I reveal about myself. And the thing is that, for me at least, there's a very fine line between invisibility and hiding. And that especially from experiences in childhood and also just the history of what has happened to powerful women on this planet, a lot of people have been burned at the stake for speaking out and a lot of people have been persecuted for doing things that are against the flow. So it's very natural for a lot of us to have a part of us that gets scared of being seen and starts to feel anxious and will consciously or unconsciously want to hide. And what I've realized is that when I'm not conscious of the part of myself that needs to hide or wants to hide, a lot of times what I will do is I will hide, but I'll project it onto imagining that I'm not being noticed. I'll project it onto being invisible in a way that is about the other person not seeing me as opposed to my choice to not reveal myself. And as I start to really own it, as I start to recognize that fine line between invisibility and hiding, and also the distinction between whether I'm the one who's controlling the switch or whether or not it's down in the basement and my subconscious is, I start really being able to be a lot more deliberate about the places and the times where I am seen, where I am visible, where somebody goes, oh my God, a unicorn just walked across the road there. As opposed to when I'm hiding subconsciously and I'm wondering why is nobody noticing the unicorn that's walking across the road. So I'd love to hear what you have to say about, about this. Do you find yourself worrying about being visible, having fears about being exposed? Do you ever notice yourself feeling invisible but also feeling kind of anxious about being seen? And that fine balance, like dancing between the hiding and the invisibility. And I guess the bottom line question I'd ask is, are you in control of your visibility and your invisibility? 
or is there something more subconscious that's driving that? Actually, I would say that's running the cloaking device over your spaceship right now. So I'd love to hear what you have to say about all of this. Please leave a comment below. And until next word of the day, I am wishing you peace. I am wishing you ease. And I am wishing you the conscious choice as to when you are visible and when you are hiding or invisible. So in the meantime, please go like my Facebook page, Modern Medicine Lady LLC. And also, I will be eternally grateful for your help to get this video out into the world. Please like it, please share it, and please pass it along to other people who would find it useful. Thank you so much, and until tomorrow, peace.